Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, stolen content. How does content theft happen and why? I think you'll be surprised. Uh, it's, it's easier than you think, and it's very commonplace right now, whether people intend to do it or not. How to spot stolen or even just duplicate content, and two steps to consider if you're a victim. One of the most common ways content is stolen is actually happens in a very innocent scenario where people don't understand what it is they're actually taking. And I've, I've witnessed this several times, heard people ask me, well, can I just go to Google Images to get find pictures from my website? And the answer to that is no. So here's an example of a search for Austin. And what, have, what a lot of people will do is they'll go, they'll click on images, and they'll see all of these images, assuming that they are... Uh, just Google Images, kind of like um, Microsoft Clip Art. Remember the days when we could just use Clip Art? That's not the case here. These are images that quite often belong to someone else. So in this case, if I hover over this picture, you can see right here that this picture belongs to utexas.edu. So step one, don't go to Google Images to find pictures for your website. Take your own pictures. Another common way that content is stolen is simply by cutting and pasting. And uh, what people will do is they'll just go to a website just like this, thinking that no one will ever know. They'll highlight the content, they'll copy it, they'll go paste it in their website. Hopefully you know better than to do this. It's, uh, it's stealing content. Now, um, one way to, to identify this, Google has an really great tool for this what you can do is simply take some content from your website if you see another website that you think looks suspicious and simply put that content in quotations open the quotations paste your content in and close them and do a search now here you'll see where um, all in bold is the exact verbiage that I searched for what you'll see here is where it says repeat the search with omitted search results. The reason these were omitted, and you can see here's the exact same content. Well, we know we wrote this content, and um, Chilling Effects is the uh, .org is the website that manages this. And here is where I found another website that had our content on it. These are even out. This is an image from our selling page with our logos on it our agents, etc. And you can see where they copied all of this content and pasted it into their website. Now, so what happens when that, ha what do you do when that happens to you? Well, what I did in this scenario was, first of all, I called the person and asked them to take it down. I always give the person who is taking the content benefit of the doubt um, if it looks like they might have hired a, uh, someone to produce their website. I have seen it more often than not where when I find stolen content, it's because somebody hired somebody to build their website. And uh, quite often what will happen is when someone hires someone to build a website, if they're willing to steal content from one, one website, they're willing to steal content from several websites. Well, in this scenario, I called them. They didn't pull it down. So right here, uh, you can read the actual complaint that I filed on the content that was stolen from our um, website. It takes a little bit for it to load, but it's very simple. You can just go to the Sky Realty Austin selling page, copy that first sentence, paste it in, and you can read my complaint. Right here is a link to the US Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So you can have Google pull the content down. Um, another scenario is uh, seek counsel, get an attorney. Uh, attorneys or anyone that understands uh, the the digital the U.S. Digital Millennium Copyright Act um, understands that it's pretty easy to uh, get this stuff remedied. Unfortunately, we've had to go that route in the past, but it works. But I want to urge you to uh, give the person you know the benefit of the doubt. Call the person that has the content, your content, on their website, and ask them what happened. And sometimes maybe they don't know, and maybe it's an opportunity to just say, hey, look, that belongs to me. I'm asking you to pull it down.
If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment box below this video on our YouTube channel, and I'll happily answer your questions. Also, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates as I post more videos on how to build your website, navigate the web, understand technology for real estate. And thank you for watching this video.